Let's write a program that will take a number of integers as command line arguments and then print out their sum. So I'll pause for a few seconds if you would like to work on this on your own and then we'll look at it together. Okay, so when we actually invoke some from the command line, we know that the program name is actually going to be our first command line argument. Okay, so we want to ignore that. And then what we'll do is we'll assume that the rest of our command line arguments are integers. Okay, so we actually won't be doing any error checking in this implementation. Now, each of those are each of those command line arguments are C style strings, and we have the A2I library function that will take a C style string and convert it to an integer. And so what we need to do is we need to just iterate over the arguments starting at the argument in index one so that we ignore the program name and then just call a2i and add it to a running sum. Okay, so we'll start off with a sum that's zero and then we'll iterate over our argv array and we'll start this iteration at index one We'll end it when we get to our number of arguments, which is argc. And then in each iteration, what we'll do is we'll just call a2i on that particular argument and then add it to our sum. So we'll call a2i on the ith command line argument. Okay, now once we're done with this loop, then all we have to do is just print out the result. Okay, so we'll use C out to do that. So we'll see out sum is, and then our sum. Now with this program, no matter how many command line arguments we get, we're always going to get the sum of each of, each of those arguments. Okay, so with the example down below, we have argc is actually equal to six because there are six command line arguments, including the name of the program. We start our iteration at the first argument. We convert that to the integer one, and we continue to do that until we get through all the command line arguments. And so the result is a sum of 15.